What's going on, smart people? It is, uh... It's, it's Sunday morning, and finals week officially starts tomorrow. Kelly and I literally got this piano less than an hour ago from... She's still learning. <laughs> Uh, we got this piano less than an hour ago from one of her professors. Will you? Okay, I'll, I'll, we'll go through the scales in a minute. I need you to calm down for now. We got the piano less than an hour ago from one of her professors who was moving halfway across the country, actually the entire way across the country and just needed to get rid of it and wanted to make sure it went somewhere where the person would actually play the piano. So I am so excited. Maybe not the greatest spot to have a piano in an apartment with thin walls. Sorry, neighbors. But uh, needless to say, I'm a little bit distracted today. But I do need to start focusing because tomorrow is when finals week starts. I'm taking, for those of you who are new, I'm taking three courses. This is my second semester as a graduate physics student at New Mexico State University. And the three classes I'm taking are quantum mechanics, statistical mechanics, and quantum field theory. Why I'm taking quantum field theory right now, that's a long story, but we don't actually have a final exam for that. Instead of a final, we just had to actually give one of the lectures instead of our professors. Uh, but I do have two other classes that do have finals, quantum and stat mech, and tomorrow is my quantum final. Now, since I'm keeping up with quantum field theory, I'm not particularly worried about the quantum final. It's probably one of my strengths as far as physics goes, or maybe it's just easier. It's probably just easier than other fields like classical or stat mech. Uh, but for the rest of the day, what I plan on doing is just going over my previous homeworks because I, I do my homeworks, I complete my homeworks in such a way in preparation for future me who has to look back at them to study. So, for example, this is one of my homeworks for Klebsch Gordon coefficients, and it is 10 pages long. 10 pages because I'm, I'm very thorough when I do it. I say where I'm getting information or I go through the entire derivation. That way I'm not scratching my head so much being like, how the hell, did, what, where the hell did that go, what is going on here? So this should be really helpful. This should be really all I need. As far as what the testable material goes, it's, it's everything. Everything that we've gone over is fair game. And it kind of should be, I guess at grad school level. Uh, but mainly it'll be focusing on the different types of perturbation theory, so time-dependent, independent, degenerate, non-degenerate. I think we're just doing going up to first order just to save ourselves the time. Uh, and then we also should have scattering theory, Klebsch-Gordon coefficients, maybe radial equation, just the normal quantum stuff should all be fair game. And that I'm not particularly worried about. I'm just going to be going over the previous homeworks and that should be plenty. Uh, and then after tomorrow, I have my, which is Monday, I have my stat mech exam on Thursday. So I have a few days to prep for that. And uh, that one I'll need to take a bit more seriously. Now my professor did say to carefully uh, review homeworks five, six, and seven, which is on time independent perturbation theory, time dependent perturbation theory, and scattering theory. And out of all of those, I think what I need to mostly revise for today is just degenerate perturbation theory. Time dependence not too hard. Time independent, non-degenerate is just super easy. So degenerate is probably the only weak point if you want to call it that. And then I'll probably go over scattering theory a bit more just because it's the most new. Now it is about five o'clock. I think I'm gonna call it quits with studying for the day. I think I know everything I need to know for tomorrow. Feel good about the quantum exam. Get that knocked out tomorrow. And then the rest of the week is just studying for stat mech. So I will see you tomorrow. You ready for the final, Krishna? Yes, I think so. All right, let's go do it. Two hours later. How'd you guys feel about the final? <laughs> I mean, it could go either way, but most likely it's gonna go down. <laughs> <laughs> Sherrod, you sound kind of confident. What? You sound pretty confident. No, yeah, I was, I perform average, I guess. <laughs> perform average, my ass. Is my lens scratched? I, I, normally with the exams, it's like the after after the fact, I'll realize stupid mistakes I made. This time, I noticed those stupid mistakes during the exam, but I let a lot of time get eaten up in the meantime. Yeah. So it's a matter of how much of those stupid mistakes that I fix in the time. I thought it was much more reasonable than last semester's. What do you guys think? Yeah. Uh, compared to the last semester finals, this was better. I yeah. mean, I have answers for this one, so... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> for this exam, the first problem was a spin problem. The second problem was 
independent perturbation theory. Right. It was a time independent perturbation theory. It was the Stark effect. The third problem was a degenerate perturbation theory problem. And then the final one third was. Third one was the. Scattering. Sca uh, third one was the time dependent perturbation. Didn't we have a degenerate, a degenerate one? On the first one. Oh, the yeah. Second one too. Yeah, the second one. That's right. Sorry. I already forgot about everything. And then the final one was scattering. Yeah. And I started that problem under the assumption that my potential was essential potential, which if you've done any scattering, simplifies your scattering uh, amplitude a lot. And I realized you can't make that assumption and that ate up a lot of time. Just got out of quantum field theory for the day, about to go home. Spoke with my professor. So it's, it's spring now, and my professor said that the 600 level course that should be offered next spring could be general relativity. That's super exciting because it is never offered. It's always like, you know, condensed matter, maybe solid state or quantum field theory, which is still awesome courses, but never general relativity, at least not in a while. So a year from now, we'll be taking a GR class. It's going to be so much fun. Stat mech final is tomorrow. How do you guys feel? Yeah, I'm doing good, man. You guys excited? Uh, I'm pretty excited because no, no, the same is going to end. Because what? The same story is going to end. So. That's true. It's just yeah. regardless of how it goes, it ends tomorrow. I need to go turn in quantum homework. Oh, uh, yeah. When is it due? Uh, it's due tomorrow at noon. But I mean, you know. Maybe this done. is the first time you are submitting homework before the due date? For the quarter? <laughs> <laughs> this was on my desk today. The physics of superheroes. So are you excited cool. by Starbucks? No. Not <laughs> quite. <laughs> that makes hard. Now that I am home, I'm just going to be studying StatMech the rest of the day, just going through old homeworks. Whenever you have a big exam that's cumulative where everything is fair game to ask, it's a bit overwhelming to know where to start studying. And in my experience, the best way is just to make sure that you have the problem-solving procedure for that class down to a T. Best way to do that is to make sure you can rework your homeworks, I think, because there's too much to just try to relearn again. Uh, and different classes have different problem-solving procedures. With quantum, I think it's relatively straightforward. It's always like, do you understand the linear algebra? Yeah, then you're probably good. With things like classical mechanics and stat mech, it's different. It's different, and you just got to make sure that you can solve those problems that uh, that your professors asked previously or examples that they brought up. Ours is going to be open notes and open book, which may scare the shit out of some of you if you had to do that because it always translates to a more difficult test. But the way that I combat that is by creating a table of contents that says exactly what page is associated with what concept. So for example, if I want to talk about, if it's a question on electron gas in metals, Fermi pressure, energy, and temperature, well, that's on page 76 of my notes. So I can just glance at that instead of having to dig and decipher what these notes are all on because there's 100 pages of notes here. So for an open notes test, that could eat up a lot of your time. So I'm just gonna be reworking my old homeworks I've gone through some of them already, I'm just finishing it up today, and then I'll be ready to get this exam over with. And then I can finally start finishing grading for the class that I TA for. That's the one of the main differences between finals week and grad school and for undergrad, is that it's not just your finals, you also have to grade. Uh, but I guess in the plus side, when I was an undergrad I took five classes, so here I'm only taking three, so at least there's less finals. But yeah, I'm gonna get back to studying. I ended up leaving some homework on campus on accident, so I'm going to have to drive back to NMSU to go over that. I might just do it there, like start studying or finish my studying on campus, just to make sure that I don't keep going back and forth, because that's a huge time waster. And then I'll call it a day, and we'll take this exam tomorrow, and it'll be, it'll be over with. I love being able to sneak off to the conference room in the physics department, because there's this huge blackboard that I can just do all of my work on. Because I make mistakes, it's nice to be able to erase them. I mean, just look at this. Try to contour integral. Didn't work, didn't actually end up needing it. I just ended up using like a U substitution, whatever. But it's nice to be able to come here to do all my work, especially when I'm going over previous homeworks. Because I don't want to have to use paper if I don't have to. I feel like I think better on chalk and whiteboards anyways. Probably not the best way to practice for an exam. Probably on paper would be best, but oh well. I'm about to get going and leave the physics department and finish up the rest of my studying at home, I think. Studying's going pretty well. It turns out I retained a lot from this semester, more than I thought I did. The next day, it is 
time. time. Let's go take the stat mech final real quick, <laughs> and then call it a day. <laughs> stat mech just let out. How do you feel? I'm just scared, right. man. All right, okay. It's okay. I'm scared because of the last problem. Because yeah, the last problem. Yeah, I didn't understand that question. Yeah, we had to figure Almost. out, we had to figure out neutron think. star stuff. I mean, on the fly. On the fly. <laughs> the exam was five questions oh, on. Just, it was on everything. Um, there was questions on fluctuations. There was questions on degenerate Fermi gases, like a neutron star. It was a lot, but it's over with. All that is left is to catch up on some grading. You're so excited. I'm very excited. And it didn't go like I knew that it wasn't going to go what terribly. What are you planning for the summer? So you are excited. This summer. Or you are excited because you are out of it. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm excited for finals to be done, <laughs> and I'm excited that the exam was not that hard. No. There was one. There was one question that was particularly difficult. It was on uh, neutron stars. It was just kind of like a curveball. But now Andrew and I are going to go get some well-deserved panda. <laughs> I like panda. I really am done for the day except for grading and I can do grading anywhere so it is about what time is it 11 o'clock right now we're gonna have an early day go home and then probably brew a cup of coffee and then get to all this grading and then I will really almost be done for the semester because I just remembered they have their extra credit lab tomorrow so I still have to come in tomorrow Oh well, it's almost done. I have been home for a while. Right now it is 6.40. I did not know that I've been grading for this long. I'm just doing all the final grading for the final exams for this lab. Um, in order to do that, I actually had to take the exam for myself because we weren't given like an answer sheet, so that took a little bit of time. That's why it's, I guess, taking me so long to grade. But after this, I more or less will be done with all of the grading for the semester. I'm giving some students one last opportunity tomorrow to turn in some last minute things in late because life happens, I understand. So tomorrow they have uh, an extra credit lab and I'm trying to make sure I have all of their grades in tonight. That way they can decide for themselves if they want to come to this extra credit lab or if their grade is fine how it is. So I'm just going to finish up this grading. I will probably, uh, I'll probably continue with this video into tomorrow and the rest of the week just so that I can update on how my grades actually ended up turning out. I did get my final grade back for quantum mechanics. I got an A. I still don't know what it is for quantum field theory or statistical mechanics. If I had to guess, I think I got an A in quantum field theory and I think I probably got a B in stat mech. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. So I will see you tomorrow. Today is the final day of finals week. I just have to go in and give this last extra credit lab for my students and then grade whatever they give me. And then that'll be it for my first year of grad school. All the finals have been taken, all the homework has been turned in. I'll probably keep the video going until I get all my final grades, but for the most part, this is the end of the first year. Labs are all over now for my class. They just had to do this makeup lab on torque. So they had this little rod that was inside of a pole, and then they had this little force sensor that would say, how much force is being applied at different points along the rod to show that as you go farther out you apply it's easier to apply more torque because as we all know torque is r cross f so the larger the distance away that you apply a force the more torque that you get which is why you don't open doors by pushing at the hinges so now i really am all done i'm just waiting for the emails to come in that are like Oh wait, I just checked my grade for the first time this semester. What can I do? So, I'm sure that's coming, which will be fun. But other than that, I am done for the day and I'm going home. I'm so used to coming home and then having this shitload of homework to get started on or finish up. And now that that's not the case, it's a nice day, so I might go outside. You can't see anything because it's dark in here. And uh, brainstorm on the next video idea for the next comedic video. You want to go outside and help, Mamo? Go outside. She loves it out there. Now that I am home, my grades have finally been posted. Let's take a look at how I did my first year of grad school in physics. So let me just pull up this academic transcript and get off of all of the personal information that you should not see. What you're seeing here is last semester. Last semester I took math methods, classical mechanics, and the first semester of quantum mechanics. I got an A, a B, and an A. Uh, and I've talked about how hard I think classical mechanics is. I think it's a People underestimate that class. This semester I took the second semester of quantum mechanics, statistical mechanics, and the second semester of quantum field theory. I've explained a bunch of times why I took um, 
the second semester course in quantum field theory without having the first and without finishing quantum. But anyways, for these grades, I got an A, a B plus, and an A. So it looks like I tend to do better as things get more quantum-y. Because StatMech is basically just quantum thermodynamics. So that brings the current term GPA just for this semester to be a 3.766, and the cumulative GPA for this and last semester is a 3.716. So I've yet to get straight A's in grad school. That makes me want to try to get it even more next semester. Next semester, I'm not overly thrilled with the classes I'll be taking. I'll talk about that more in a future video, but that would make getting straight A's even more sweet. It's just, it'd be a cool achievement to have in grad school, so I'd like to, I'd like to get that. Uh, but that's going to do it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comment section if you did, and I'll see you guys there.